Warning, this episode is going to contain a lot of strong language, but I'm not going to say it. I'm going to refer to it. You're going to say it, but in your head, except for the word nigger. I may see the word nigger a couple of times. Centuries ago in Africa, as with all over the world, various tribes had different names. But when some of these tribes were picked up and dropped off in the Americas, they were given new names because, you know, you can't really name something unless you own it. Like a car or a child or land, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, you know what? Let's go back. Latin. The word for black in Latin is ne- ne- negrios. Okay. One of the words for black, and this is black as a color, not as a culture or a people, is Niger. Latin decided to have a couple of kids called the Romantic Languages, and they started off as dialects, and you know what, we don't have time to discuss this. Um, Just suffice it to say, Spanish is like, we don't say Niger, we say Negro. Except, you know, they said it in Spanish, and with a fancy hat on, I guess. I don't, I don't know how, how Spanish works exactly. Then along comes English and the word nigger. But from the beginning, it refers to people. And it starts in translating some books. Either with, also the niggers eat these lizards, so do the Indians of America in 1568, or upon the Indians and the niggers of Ethiopia bearing witness in 1574. Either way, at this point, there's no weight to it. The word describes. It does not define a person. It, it says nothing about who they are as a people. But what a difference 200 years can make. 1775 is the first time that the word is used as an insult, at least on record. Now, now we begin to spiral. And so we have all of this free labor, but that's not really a catchy name. So why not use an existing word? Nigger. Now, don't get me wrong. In the 18th century, not everyone who used the word would have been using it as pejorative. Yes, that's right. I said pejorative. I'm using very large words we're all going to learn today. But by 1904, we know that this word is negative. Why? Because a guy named Clifton Johnson wrote a little article in the Seattle Republican called, There are only niggers in the South, a reminder of inferiority. And it starts with the paragraph, One of the oddest impressions that a northern person gets in the South is that there are no colored people or Negroes there, but only niggers. The term is recognized as opprobrious. It's like calling an Irish man a hira, or an Italian a god, or a farmer. It is equivalent to a kick, yet it is necessary to administer these verbal kicks in order to avoid the possibility of their forgetting their inferiority. Besides, It is affirmed that Negroes will not work unless one is rough and vigorous with them. If you want anything done, you must say, come here, nigger. Now, in the same article, we see the use of language that is more polite being used at the time. The writer sometimes refers to them as blacks or colored or Negroes or even Afro-American. And for a while, those words were cool. But I mean... You've heard the jokes. A play on the name of the famous colored uh, Negro basketball squad. Black. African American. You know, people of colors. Nothing seems appropriate. Every couple of years, it seems that there's another proper thing to call black people in America. And because they own a giant stake in the English-speaking media of the world, it affects what the world thinks is appropriate to call black people in English sometimes. With the word nigger, there is tied up all of the pain and history of slavery. And so we move forward to the next word. But with each word and each generation, there is another set of history and pain attached to it. You see, words don't exist without context. And if the context is always, come here, nigger, then the word will never be right. And in the Western world, the context of blacks is not been right for a long time but i can say the word nigger and the question is why why do i get to say the most offensive word in the english language while other people who happen to not look like me can't say it while singing a cardi b song i mean really what is the point well one not every black person agrees on whether or not we 
could or should use the word, even if we do it in a positive sense. And number two, because, I mean, it's different. The best example I could think of is you have NASA and Freeport, and the people from Freeport, they can say stuff like, the best thing in Freeport is to play into NASA and laugh about it. But if somebody from NASA were to say it, or maybe print it on a t-shirt, it would be highly offensive. And it wouldn't matter if you thought it was funny or not. Somebody from Freeport told you to take it off. You should probably just get naked. I mean, they get to decide the definition of their identity. If you're not in the community, you can describe it, but you can't own the identity because it's not a car. And apparently you can't own babies either, so, okay. Which brings us to other words that are no longer on the table to say. I mean, we've already discussed ad nauseum the N-word, but then there's also the M-word and the F-word. And sure, when you were growing up, you could use all these words freely, but that's because all these groups are subjugated and or othered and weren't allowed to say, hey, don't call me that, call me this. And you know what? A couple years from now, the words may change again. And you may say, this is silly. I don't understand why I have to learn new words and forget the old ones. But if a gay person or a little person says, don't call me that, it's offensive because of the history tied to that word, call me bright, then I'll, I'll call them bright and not argue with them because I feel like a little power has left me because I'm now being restricted from saying this one thing. And, and you know what? If we really have an issue with the constant changing of the vocabulary and the limiting of our language, then there's a very simple solution. We need to change the context in which the words are being used. And I'll just mean like, say different words. I mean, create a world. I mean, create a different world. Why?